All right, guys, you saw the infamous Amsterdam vlogs where we're walking around Amsterdam, smoking weed, buying weed. Welcome to Seattle, where you can buy weed now. As of a couple years ago, if you're 21 and older, just walk into one of these recreational cannabis shops, show your ID, go inside, shop around, take some pictures, buy your favorite weed concoction, whether it's flour, edibles, drinks, everything. So I'm gonna show you guys a taste of a friend of a friend's actual store known as the Apple Store of Pot Shop. So let's give you guys a little tour. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. and you can kind of just ask them anything you want. Yeah. What would you say are the best sellers uh, in the whole store that sells best? Well, for the whole store, generally, we get a lot of edibles. Other than pre-rolls, pre-rolls, flour, those are classics and they will never be gone forever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for edibles specifically, we do really well with the Moxie mints. Mm -hmm. um, everybody loves the Moxies. They're great because you can really adjust your dosage very well on those ones. Um, followed by probably the Illuminations by Verdelux. Those ones are just really nice ones, a little bit higher milligramage because Washington State reduced our, reduced our dosage on a lot of these edibles. 10 per candy is and the Washington State limit. Them, yeah. And another fun one that is uh, at least me and Joe's favorite, mm -hmm. uh, these Ohor slips are really, really cool because they're mm -hmm. sublingual. So when you put them under your tongue, instead of waiting 45 minutes to probably about two hours for uh, the edible to kick in, you actually get the effects. You start to feel them in about 10 minutes with full effects between 40 minutes to an hour. Uh -huh. And they're a lot more strain specific. We want people to understand what is happening with their cannabis experience. So we therefore put the two main categories of strains on a spectrum here. So Hush represents the classic indica side. That's your very quiet, introspective, potentially couch locky side of things. I say um, indica in the couch. Can't remember. Indica in the couch. Exactly. Yeah. So that is our quieter side. It's based more on the body. Um, it's a really nice side of things. And that's actually where you'll find uh, higher levels of CBD as well, which is a really cool cannabinoid that doesn't affect the brain. It doesn't get you high. It just affects the body. It's a really cool relaxation sensation. Uh, right, CBD, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the Ignite side represents your sativas. So sativas are based a lot more in the mind. They're uplifted. They're energetic. They're social. I had somebody recently come in and say sativas are for divas, and that helped me a little okay. bit more like for people to remember that side of things too. Cool. High energy. Um, this is also the side where you can sort of find a little bit more paranoia potentially sort of ah. spinning thoughts yeah. racing. if you don't know about weed it's famous to come up with ideas like really funny ideas good ideas creativity with weed um, but paranoia at the same time because it kind of massages your brain and brings out uh, inner thoughts we'll put it that way so that's a great way to describe yeah. it actually Thanks. and then unwind and flourish represent hybrids that were bred from sativas and indicas and that's where most edibles will sit for you is right in between unwind and flourish because they're processing through the body a little bit differently so to really get a truly strain specific effect for the most part it does still have to be either flower or vaporization by the way inside this store it is the only one in washington that's set up like this with the retail the production and the processing all in the same space so let's go take a look at the grow operation see what's going on been all sorts of propaganda, but they're just plants and they're yeah. there doing their planty little thing. 
we just got in these bad boys today, so we're wow. really excited about it. Um, so there's a couple of different things going on in this room that sort of show you a different a couple of phases of flowers. So in these front tables, these are clones. Um, you can either grow from seeds or from clones, but from clones, you know whether or not it's a male or a female plant. And when you're growing indoors, a lot of the time you want it to be female so that you don't ever get seeds. We buy from all sorts of people. It has to be from within Washington State. This is just one of something approaching eight to 10 producers that we carry, I believe, just for flour. Um, and we have other producers that do other things like edibles and concentrates, all that other good stuff. So down here in the drying room, oh, one of the wow. So one of the things that makes it really cool is to see the entire process of the plants. Um, you can actually see Washington State's traceability. Washington State will trace it all the way. Um, and, they, and these have been drying in here for about a week and a half, maybe as many as two weeks now. If you dry it too slowly, you risk damaging your cannabinoids. Like I said, cannabinoids are things like CBD, like THC, and we're super familiar with those two, but there's over a hundred in the plant. So as we get more research done, we're really going to be able to separate out a lot of cool things that you can do with cannabis. Yeah, fine tune. So the next is the extraction lab. Um, and there's some really cool stuff back there. Oh, but there's no photography back there. There's no photography but back there. But we can there. just go and look. Um, yeah. The average gram, it can range from like 15 bucks to like 25, 30 bucks for one gram. Uh, we're gonna get a gram of the field day, which was grown right there for $15. What? Oh, see? it up, yeah. Thank you, Drew. So uh, they even give you a nice fancy bag, and it was only $12 because from seven to nine, it's happy hour, 20% off all buds. Down here, these are actually uh, simple syrup mixers. So these right, are like right, for making right. martinis. That's right. They'll actually put little cups, little shot cups on top so you can break it up into 10 milligram servings. So so I'll take an orange cream 10 and then we need some rolling papers. Hey, pothead. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a uh, drink. So if I went outside and I can't drink this like Not on the here. sidewalk, you, you have to drink the edibles or consume them in your own home, that's the only place that's you can legally. consume them. If you get caught consuming in public, it's a $27 ticket. $27 ticket, if I were just to go out here and drink it. What about smoking on- $27 ticket. Really? State of Washington or City of Seattle? City of Seattle. Oh my gosh. For all you travelers out there, I do recommend some caramels or some chocolates um, before your flights. Um, not on the flight, but before the flight, right? Because that would be illegal. And you're probably not in Seattle too, so you'll get arrested. You mother. That was the Apple Store of weed. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. See you guys on the next vid. Let's go get high. <laughs> <laughs>